Good morning. We are starting off our Monday on a somewhat quiet note. Temperatures are mild, but there are some areas where we're getting some snowflakes and snow showers out there. So uh, things are looking pretty typical, I guess we could say, to start off our work week this week. We've got some low clouds right now. You can see them uh, here in our view on our Storm Team Skycam network in Fargo. We're looking westward. You can see the pedestrian bridge there over I-94. So things are pretty quiet in the FM area, but then there are other places where we're having to put up with those scattered areas areas of snow. So let's take a look at those snowy conditions out there for us here today. We're seeing that up in places like the Devil's Lake Basin and then some other spots up in the northeastern part of North Dakota and then also a couple of flakes into northwest Minnesota. You can see a lot of the uh, more significant snowfall happening over in the Minot region. So it's a little west of us at this point in time, but that doesn't mean we're not being impacted right now. We're going to zoom in a little bit more. So a couple of places here we're looking around Devil's Lake, especially south of Devil's Lake seeing that snow and then back up into the Pemina Gorge area, the Walhalla area, seeing some snow too that's moving east that might be impacting Cavalier right now. And then some flurries again that we're seeing on the map in northwest Minnesota, but nothing that's super significant. It is reducing our visibility in spots, one thing to keep in mind. So here's a look at our temperatures. It's mild for this time of the day in January. We're looking at some teens to even some low 20s right now. It's 20 degrees in Fargo. The warm spot is Wapiton at 21 and it's 17 currently in Grand Forks. It's 18 in Jamestown and over to the east we're looking at some teens there too. 19 Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls and then back over to Wadena and Park Rapids and Bemidji. We're right at 16 degrees. Winds coming in out of the southeast or south. A gust to 23 in Fargo and we will see these kinds of winds throughout the day today. Some teens with some gusts picking up into the 20s. So breezy one that does have a factor or an impact on your wind chill. We're looking at some single digits for many of us in the valley. So I mentioned the snow having an issue uh, with the, the visibility out there. In Carrington, we're down to a half mile. So some really reduced visibility in that area. Langdon, Cooperstown, Jamestown seeing some lowering as well. Cavalier at seven miles. I also want to point out that Bemidji's at seven miles too. So both sides of the valley seeing some impacts, but definitely at west is where we're looking at uh, the uh, snow more likely impacting your morning commute. So through the day today, we'll see mostly cloudy skies with some breaks, getting some sunshine through and some milder temperatures too. But if you're up in the north and west over by Devil's Lake, you're more likely to be impacted by that potential for some snow for today. The rest of us looking a lot quieter, though we can't roll out a couple of flurries or a light snow shower passing through. You could see some wind gusts leading into the system as well, uh, gusting into the 20s to 30 miles per hour. So a breezy one again. This is noon. Heading into the afternoon, temperatures upper teens to some mid 20s. So very mild compared to what's coming our way, we'll say. So if you have some things to do outdoors this week, today's kind of your day to do it. Just watch out for a little bit of wind and again, a little bit of snow in the northwest. And then heading into tonight, you can expect to see temperatures staying mild into the evening hours with that south wind. And overnight, we see some of those snow showers once again work their way through as the system finally departs. Northern Valley will be the place where that's more likely to happen. And starting off the day tomorrow, that wind switch we're looking at a more westerly direction and conditions that are going to be starting to cool down as we head into the rest of the week this week. Here's a look at your photo today, a picture of the porch or off the porch of that uh, moon there uh, being obscured by some of those clouds. We had a nice bright full moon on Friday and uh, that stuck around into the weekend. Got to see some uh, when the sky was clear, of course, see that full moon or nearly full by the time we got to the weekend. And then much colder as we head through the rest of the week, we're looking at temperatures really dropping, especially on Wednesday and into Thursday, a high of five below on Thursday. So that's going to be cold and we stay cold. Friday's the day to watch for our next storm system for some accumulating snow. The other events will be bringing a chance for some light snow, but that one could be more significant. And of course, we'll have more on that as the week gets, gets as it gets closer as we progress through the week. Thank you, Lisa. Our winter weather is now starting to take a toll on our homes. Coming up, how you can safely remove the snow and ice from your roof.